In Xindian's Zi Year Blessing Ceremony was held with a sutra adaptation. Ecuador City volunteers hold relief distributions to help 1,500 families in need. Welcome to Dai Headlines. I'm Siri Su. Thank you for joining us. In Taiwan, another year and blessing ceremony was held with 2,000 volunteers participating in the sutra adaptation. A thousand people and a thousand hands performing the sutra adaptation. The hall is full of solemn atmosphere. A single thought can last forever. Such volunteers vowed to save all sentient beings from pain, fulfilling this vow for over half a century now. Her eyes are focused while her every actions are precise. It is impossible to know that she was called upon as backup a day before the UN blessing ceremony. I asked myself if I'm able to take on this responsibility. I was a little scared and nervous, but she told me that it's all right, you can do it. Actually, if you have performed the previous sutra adaptation and have already practiced a lot, with simple changes, we can all do it. This 20-year-old girl is especially different from the other senior Tsuchi volunteers. She has been following her mother in doing Tsuchi works and is going to be certified next year. She only has a wish. Her hair salon is the place where she spreads the Dharma. Tsuchi volunteer Wu Li Huang has been encouraging her neighbors to join the ranks of Tsuchi volunteers for the past 30 years. I made a vow that by doing recycling work, I can invite more people to join in the recycling mission. So when I came back, I started doing recycling work in front of my shop. Whoever she meets, she will introduce Tsuchi to them. When the master spreads the Dharma, she practices it. All the brothers and sisters on stage today is the best testimony we all become Tsuchi volunteers because of her. So Supporting the charity mission by saving a little each day, the amount accumulated can be staggering. As everyone lights up the flame in their hearts, it is hoped that 2021 will be a peaceful year and may everyone be blessed in the upcoming year. Continuing her island-wide tour, Dama Master Zhang Yin had a meeting with volunteers from Zhonggang Recycling Station. Meanwhile, Dai Technology staff also shared the newest innovations with the master. In fact, there is not textbook for recycling industry. For more than 12 years, Dai Technology has combined technology and recycling. Recently, they developed wood plastic composites reusing resources. Dai Technology has also developed multifunctional desks and chairs. The design team continues to brainstorm. By May of next year, the latest, we'll make a P-Tree great reusable Dai eco-friendly protective gown. We hope that it can be washed up to 30 times. The design upholds the principle of honesty and sincerity, and then there is beauty. As the master promotes Zhiji and shares Buddhist Dharma, the essence is beauty. The picture brings back much memories the people have aged. 
，大力加油啊！大力加油，加油哈！加油，加油哈！ My two sons have joined Siji for more than 10 years. The oldest one is in Banqiao. He has been certified as Siji fan till three years ago. I told them about how good this path is. The master's words have inspired the volunteers to continue doing their work diligently. In Xindian's Jing Si Hall, Master Zheng Yin had a one sharing session with the recycling volunteers. Many recycling volunteers have shared their touching stories on how recycling works have changed their lives. Why don't you wash it, dry it, and then reuse it? My daughter-in-law told me this. I told her, do you really think you're better in doing recycling work? The interesting conversations between her and her daughter-in-law are shared in front of the master, making the sharing session full of energy and laughter. The rack of drying the plastic bags is raised up by machine after they are washed. The machine for removing bottle caps and also the plastic bag dryer. These are all created by Tai Zhi and has been doing recycling for 10 years now. The plastic bags are able to dry up and it can also clear the debris on the plastic bags. If we do not collect these plastic bags, there will be more rubbish. But if we collect them, there's not much space to dry them where the weather conditions are unpleasant. This Ferris wheel dryer is really amazing. It's great. To be honest, being able to design this machine, I must thank the recycling volunteers for giving me this opportunity, enabling to turn my work into charity work. My work is considered a small love, but charity work is able to benefit all sentient beings. There are over 100 volunteers doing recycling work at the Zhonggang Recycling Station. The station is also a small-scale version of the tens of thousands of volunteers worldwide. In every family, they have their own sutras. Because of recycling, Wu Muqing and his wife were able to let go of the pain of losing their daughter. In Zhiqi, there are many Dharma family members' company and guidance, helping my wife to recover from depression. Because of a master's dharma, I'm able to compensate the bad infirmities that I had with my mother-in-law and my family members. Her picture is able to bring back all the sweet memories and loving stories. These are all possible because there's a group of volunteers who records all the events. Looking back in the past and taking up the responsibilities in the future, although the temperature outside is cold, but in this small conference room, everything is so warm. When Chen Shujun was in her 30s, her husband suddenly passed away. Fortunately, she found a job in Dalin City Hospital. But later, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. However, she chose to volunteer with Tima while she battled against cancer. Because the people inside have to assemble the medical instruments, we girls prepare the equipment. We take the basic package to the doctor. The basic package includes forceps, mouth mirror, and probe. Chen Shujian arranged the equipment familiarly. She joined Tima in 2003. Because we watch the doctors and they tell us what they want. I used to work in a supply center. I know the equipment need to be disinfected. If something goes wrong, it is not good for the patient. So our supply center is the first checkpoint. Medical infectious agents must be cleaned disaffected and satellized, because every device is responsible for the mission of saving people. In order to ensure the safety of the next user, every disinfection procedure must be followed. Our medical devices are clean and disinfected because these are what we want to use for patients. When the patients is healed, we'll feel comforted. Chen is cautious while disinfecting the device to ensure the safety of users and patients. Chen Shujian herself was a cancer patient. 
It is a big test in life, really, because I've never had such a serious illness. When I encounter this kind of fate, it is really a big challenge for me in life. The physical health also requires mental health. Therefore, if the patient is physically and mentally healthy, her immunity will naturally be improved when facing the illness, and the tumor will not easily grow. She has the right concept to face her life, so after she retired, she has never rested and continued to volunteer at Ziji to contribute her efforts. In 2015, Chen Su-jian retired from the supply center of Dalin Ziji Hospital, but she chose to continue to join the Tima team to volunteer her specialty. The most important thing is the mouth mirror. This mouth mirror must be installed before it can be used. If it is not installed properly, it cannot be used. It took a long time to do this, and I got used to it in a packaging unit. I used to have a really strong personality. Colleagues should listen to what I'm talking about. My previous personality was like this. So my sister always said that I was fierce. Since I joined Siji, my personality has changed a lot. Now I'll do what they say and I won't talk back. For dentists to help patients smoothly, they need to rely on a group of well-trained dental assistants they deliver all kinds of device in time and assist the doctor to make the treatment process smooth. We all undertake difficult things together, work together, and to complete an impossible thing together. Because when a dentist wants to fill a tooth, we know what device we need to take. When they're doing tooth extraction, we take the device to help. Having found a purpose in life, Su Zhen's life is more fulfilling. The more I do, the happier I am. They'll hug me when I go to volunteer because I communicate with them very well. Our relationship is really great. In South America, the pandemic continues to worsen. In Ecuador, city volunteers held five relief distributions, helping 1,500 families. On the hand-drawn poster, three white doves are flying with an olive branch in their beaks. The Spanish writings are all love for CG, hoping for a better tomorrow. Tsuji in Ecuador has launched a one-month relief distribution in Canoa, Santa Ana, Puerto Vejo and Manta, helping over 1,500 families in need, hoping that everyone can pass through this time of difficulty during the pandemic. After the earthquake back in 2016 and the floods after that, Tsuji has come here to help us. Whenever there's a big disaster, volunteers will appear right before our eyes. The epidemic has made our lives even harder. Many of us do not have jobs anymore. I need to take care of five children, and life has been extremely tough. I am only able to smile after receiving so many aid supplies today. The master has reminded all the volunteers that we must not just give. We need to provide the supplies enough for each family to sustain for a month, so every household is able to receive 10 kilograms of rice, flour, noodles, cooking oil, etc. It is hoped that every family member will not feel hungry. We encourage everyone to live a healthy lifestyle by changing our eating habits. We are able to save the planet. We should stop eating meat and adopt a vegetarian diet together so that we can safeguard our planet. Because 
In Taiwan, compared to 10 years ago, the number of female firefighters has doubled. A man and a woman has lost her father in a flying mission two years ago. Despite that, she still stays at her post passing on the mission. Meanwhile, another woman is the first female member of Kaohsiung City's rescue dog team. The female firefighters are like superwomen, not fearing the risk of firefighting. How can women do this? My perception of female firefighters has changed drastically. Compared to 10 years ago, the number of female firefighters has doubled. They carry 25 kilograms of equipment and go to fire scenes with men. We cannot carry heavy objects at the fire scene for as long as men. However, in a short period of time, we can do the same job. Twenty-seven-year-old Kang Wenyu has been a firefighter for seven years. Through body training, she overcomes the strength difference between men and women. Women lack strength, and maybe we do not drive well. Therefore, we must prove that we can do a good job. Kang Wenyu's father was a Black Hawk helicopter pilot. However, two years ago, her father passed away in a mission in Lanyu. Kang persevered in passing on the mission. He knows that I chose this profession, just like he chose to become a pilot. So, he knows that we are prepared mentally for the risk we are facing. Meanwhile, 35-year-old Zheng Tingyun has passed the exam to get into rescue dog team, becoming the first female member of Kaohsiung's rescue dog team. They search for people for us. He uses his nose and his equipment to carry out rescue mission. Wherever they go, we follow them. The rescuer and the dog team up to search in the mountains. Strength and focus are required. In fact, they get tired and so do we. We put in twice as much energy to pay attention to them. After all, dogs are like children lacking patience. While they look like they're playing with the dog, they're in fact practicing for hundreds and thousands of times. We need to maintain a stable condition. We should let the dog feel that he can trust us. It takes a long time to build up the relationship. It is not that fast. She's very mindful and patient. She observes the details. Zheng Ting was on the national swimming team when she was a student, and her elder sister is Taiwan's first female frogman. Her family education has trained her to challenge herself. After coming here, I realized that there is a lot to learn in this field. There is not a lot of resources in Taiwan. We need to hire teachers from other countries. Overcoming many challenges, these female professionals have proven themselves in their fields of profession. In recent years, the Bureau of Cultural Heritage promoted the digital preservation of national historical landmarks. 3D scanning is used. The scan is useful, seems as time goes on, buildings will change. As a thunderstorm devours the cargo ship, the protagonist is forced into a lifeboat with a tiger starting their journey through the sea together. This is Life of Pi. In this movie, the boat is the most important prop. The movie staff ask a Taiwanese technology company to 3D scan the boat in order to recreate if damaged. It has to be a one-to-one -one ratio model so firstly, the scan has to be accurate, as in there can be little to no mistakes within millimeters. After a model is produced, we have to put it in a software and sync, bend, destroy the item. 
These give us basic data. Besides using 3D scan technology for movie props, precious cultural assets may also be preserved. Built during the Ming Dynasty, the Wen Tai Pagoda is the first national historical landmark to be 3D scanned. When our application review committee went over to inspect, we found out that the gap became bigger. But it has really gotten bigger. It's really an interesting thought, because people will change their long-term memory based on the frequency of interaction. The memory also changes how people think when interpreting the same item, in which different results are seen. So through 3D scanning, we can clearly inspect the width of the gap, and through multiple comparisons, we can know that if the gap has gotten bigger. You can actually see that this building has gaps. When we scan close, the point cloud technology helps us fill in the gaps. So you can see that the building is very filled and it gets clearer. The point cloud technology is conducted through a 3D scan, building the historic site's appearance and form. A highly dense point cloud scan may establish an accurate model, along with cameras. The colors of an historic site can be combined with a point cloud model, making it more realistic. We are not at Donghai University's Toulouse Chapel. Last year, it went up the ranks, becoming a national historical landmark. This year, a scientific scan is in place for digital storage purposes. Taking a 3D scan of the Loose Chapel, for example, the team must first check on the exact location to scan and to confirm the historic site's relationship with the surrounding environment. After scanning, points and coordinates have to be set. The interior goes through another scanning process as it records all antique items within the building. It is a fantastic artwork, laying on a grass field. During the 50s, when every architect in the world was trying to test the limits of reinforced concrete, one must calculate the geometry of hyperboloids in order to create a parabolic shape. In the past, architectural surveys are conducted by people along with a simple measuring instrument like the level or a theodolite, and then combining with these tape measure, drawing, or a lateral view. I will then have to calculate the items through measuring manually and then record it, but the manual labor produces mistakes, so it's hard to make a curve since whenever a curve is involved, it's impossible to record, so it really depends on the experience of whoever is doing the lateral view. When I use my camera to take pictures, different angles like wide angles or telephoto lenses will produce different shapes. But through 3D scannings, we can reduce the chance of different shapes, keeping it at its original form while maintaining proportion. At a historic site, every digital record matters. As time goes on, whenever an historic site is damaged, the repairing process may be assisted by the data saved before. In the United States, Dallas Grayla Preschool held a humanities class to teach children about the impact of typhoons. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.